Hello and welcome to Sunday Power BI. Today I am going to share the power of bookmark, selection pane and buttons. Their combo bring the app like experience for the user. If you are visiting us for the first time, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get new videos notifications. Let's start the video. So today we are going to replicate the function of this report page where user can change this bar chart into a matrix view by click of this table view button and again this table view to chart view by clicking chart view button. But before that let's understand what is mean by bookmark, selection pane and button. Bookmark in Power BI enable you to capture the current state of your report page. It captures filter and slicers, state of the visual selection, real location, sorting within visuals, visibility of your report element, focus or spotlight mode. Selection pane allow you to see all the visual on your screen and set the visibility. Button creates report that behaves similar to app and create an environment where user can hover, click and further interact with the Power BI content. So now we are going to replicate this report and create similar button effects on this report and we are going to perform this task in three simple steps. But before that go to view, show panes and click on bookmark and selection. For the buttons we are going to use insert, elements and buttons. Collapse the visualization pane and fields pane. In step 1 make sure that you have put all the elements on your report. Right now we need a matrix visual and two buttons. For that let's resize the bar chart. To create a space for buttons copy ctrl c paste ctrl v from the visualization pane. Select matrix to convert this bar chart into a matrix view. From the format Style present, change default to minimal, grid, options, global font size to 15. Now select the matrix visual from the selection pane, rename it and I am writing table in the start of the name. And for the chart, I am writing chart. Now place this matrix visual on the chart. Now we are going to create the buttons. For button, go to insert, elements, buttons. And we are going to select blank. Place and resize. From the format button, go to style. In the default state, enable text and write chart view. Change the font size to 15. Now change default state to hover. Scroll down. Enable this fill. Change the color to dark blue. And transparency to 0. And from the text, Change the font color to white. Now default view of the button looks like this but when I hover my mouse on it, it looks like this. Now copy this button, Control C, Control V. Change this button name from the selection pane. This is my table view button and this is my chart view button. Select table view button. From this style, change the text to table view. Now select the table view button and place on chart view. In second step, we are going to create bookmarks. Remember, bookmark is a snapshot of your report that is visible on your screen at the moment. So right now we have a matrix view and a table view button. This look should be a matrix view and there should be a chart view button to get us on the chart view. And remember, behind this table view, we have the bar chart. And behind this table view button, we have the chart view button. So from the selection pane, hide table view button to get the chart view button on the screen and hide the bar chart. Now create bookmark by clicking on add, rename the bookmark. This is the chart view. Now for the table view, unhide the table view button and hide the chart view button. Hide the table bar revenue and unhide the chart bar revenue. Create another bookmark at and name it as table view. Now in the third step, we are going to assign actions to our button. Select the table view button. Go to format button. Enable actions. Type 
bookmark and choose table view. Select the chart view button, enable the action bookmark and choose chart view. So now if I press control and click on my chart view button, I get bar chart and if I click on the table view, I get the metrics on my screen. So these are the three simple steps through which you can create this sort of function in your report. But remember, if I select top 50 from my slicer, I can see this values where cheese revenue is 15.56. Now let's change to chart view and we can see that this slicer is not selecting top 50, rather selecting top 10. If you face this sort of issues, go to your bookmark, click on this ellipsis and uncheck data. Now let's select top 50, change to table view and now we can see top 50 is selected on our slicer just by unselecting data from this ellipsis. If you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you let me know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up below. You can also give your suggestion for future videos in comments. See you in next tutorial.